Yesterday afternoon, West Ham United uh, did announce that Ollie Skulls has signed his first professional contract with the Hammers. Of course, in June, Skulls penned his first scholarship agreement with West Ham. Just over six months after that, um, um, he made his first team debut. The versatile left-footed uh, but penned the paper now on his first professional contract. Welcome back to West Ham and official. Welcome to um, a new show, the December Daily, where, of course, England are now out of the World Cup. So... Every single day up until Christmas, we're going to bring you a West Ham related video, hopefully, uh, bringing you up to date with all the latest news and, of course, building up uh, to, the res um, to the resuming uh, of the Premier League on Boxing Day. So, so I hope you do enjoy uh, these videos. So to get straight on into it then, so, we're, so um, today's topic is Ollie Skulls. Now, yesterday, 4pm, it was announced that he signed his new contract. And of course, we, we were all we were all really, really impressed with him um, a few um, a few months back now. Uh, when him um, and quite a few other uh, youngsters played played in uh, the FCSB away game uh, in our final, I think it was, Conference League group game where we'd already got through and we just need, needed to get the game done. And um, um, and those players really came out and shone. So he's done a little interview, in the, um, so I'm going to read a bit of that out and then I'm going to give my thoughts on it and what should be happening in the future with these sort um, of young players. And so Skull signed his professional deal on his 17th birthday at Chadwell Heath, the place where he um, the place where he has trained extensively since joining the academy six years ago. For him, the triumph of his contract belongs just as much to the staff um, and the coaches as it does to the um, as it, as, it, as it does to him. So he said, it's a dream to come true signing my first professional contract that I've done it with this club makes it even more special. I've been here six years and everyone associated with the club has helped me to develop both on and off the pitch. I'm so thankful to everyone in the academy and, and the club for helping me achieve this. It's surreal to, um, to think how far I have come. Um, having been one of the um, hosts of a young, promising talent at the Academy of Football to agree scholarship terms in the summer, Skulls has been anticipating a 2022-23 season of regular under-18s football with the ambition to be pushing into Mark Robson's development side. Instead, Skulls, Skulls has, presented the, um, has represented the under-21s on a regular basis uh, since his debut in September and appeared in three first-team games. The Conference League game um, um, was his senior debut uh, against FCSB in November. And he says, I'm just grateful to everyone around me, uh, like my coaches and my parents who have pushed me to get better every single day. Now, of course, um, players like him, uh, Divi Muamba, um, who made their um, who made their debut in that brilliant game um, away at FCSB. Um, they learnt so much from that night. And you see just six months after um, he signed that uh, scholarship, he's got a professional contract, which he wasn't he wasn't expecting. He was hoping to try and get into the under, under 21 squad or maybe just a development squad as well. Uh, but to be playing a little bit of first team football in the last few months and getting that professional contract is massive for him. And this is what we need to be doing for these players that we quite clearly saw were good. You know, SCSB weren't great a few months ago. You know, don't don't get me wrong. They weren't great. But. These players came in. They did not look out of place whatsoever. And I can see quite a few people at the moment going, well, they're much better than what we've been getting used to over the last few weeks, let's be honest. And and he could be um, he could be an option in the um, in the future as a left winger, or he could be an option for a left back, which I think he's played as well. And, and many people have alluded to that in the last couple of days or so, that he's the future of our left back uh, position, of course, with, with um, Aaron Kresel ageing um, and, you know, age isn't, age and pace isn't on his side so we can't expect him to be at the club for much longer so maybe up steps Ollie Skulls um, and he might be um, a new option down that side but I think it's really really positive that we've um, kept him at the club um, for quite quite a hopefully considerable time now he's been he's He's already he's already been at the club uh, six years and it looks like we're now going to extend that stay uh, for Ollie Skulls at the Hammers it's positive just um, keep, keep him keep him playing the keep him playing the under-21 football. Um, and I'm sure at some point throughout the rest of the season, we will see him again. Um, who knows when, but I'm sure he will be, you know, getting on the bench every now and then because he is he is a talent and we've seen that. So, I mean, the big question that you've got to look over this now is lots of lots of academy players have lost, have, um, um, have uh, gone over the last few years. Alese, uh, Perkin, you know, some of them might just be for money and their eyes lit up when they saw a big figure. Or well, some of it may be um, a set up there from the sort of, um, from the transition from the youth team to trying to break into that first team. Now, um, of course, you could almost add Ngakia to that as well, but I think that's a whole different ball ballgame. Uh, but we have, I mean, it's a fact we've let, a, well, we've had to let a lot of youngsters go in the last few years. Now, do you think that's just down to them being a bit greedy and 
um, and we're not offering enough for them? Or do we think it's just that they want game time and, and perhaps David Moyes isn't isn't um, giving it to them? Are you sympathetic with those youth players? Do you think that they should have um, should have and should be getting uh, more game time uh, in the first team? Because, of course, Moyes, uh, fair play, he did use some of them youth players um, uh, in that game against FCSB. But in other times, he's just been a little bit hesitant and kept, kept them on the bench where maybe we needed a goal with 20 minutes to go, we've had a player like Perkins on the bench and he just hasn't brought it on. He's brought on a, you know, a left wing or a four nows or, um, or, a, or a Lanzini where we've got a less, sort of a natural number nine to make things happen um, on, the, um, on the bench. So sometimes he's been a little bit hesitant with that. But I don't know. What's your thoughts? Do you think Moyes has been at all in the wrong uh, with his treatment of youth players in the last few years? I think it's difficult because obviously from their perspective, you only get one go at a career. And they're young and they're excited and they're, you know, getting better by the day. And they want to be playing football um, on the highest level. They think they're good enough to be playing football um, on the highest level. And, and, wh- and when they see other clubs giving, giving perhaps um, opportunities in the, um, in, the, uh, in the first team to these players, maybe they might be thinking, well, if I go elsewhere, I can get some proper first team football. Maybe I've got to dip down to the championship, of course, in Aji uh, Alese's case. Or maybe I could just go where well, Perkins went to Leeds and, and, and I don't uh, I don't think I've seen him on the pitch at Ellen Road, to be honest with you, but that's just his choice. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I think I think it's a difficult one. I don't think Moyes has done a whole lot wrong with the academy players, but don't get me wrong. I think he could have used them more extensively in uh, in some games where we've been calling out for a player like Parkins in the past when we just haven't brought them on. Maybe now we're praying out for a player like Divin Muamba, Oli Scarves to come on and make things happen in a game where we're void of ideas and um, and creativity. Maybe these sorts of players are the answers. We haven't found those answers to these questions so far this season where we've been poor. We just seem to have write it out and maybe got a point out of it and maybe uh, won it every now and then. But maybe the answer is in these youth players. It might not be, but who knows? Uh, you don't know until you try, that is for sure. I hope you've enjoyed this video. So uh, the, uh, the news today is Oli Skulls has signed his first professional contract with West Ham United. Will uh, more youngsters um, follow it? follow his lead and sign contracts or will they go elsewhere thank you very much for watching drop a like on the video subscribe to west ham unofficial if you're new coming on tomorrow's december daily i will be talking uh, about rob newman um about what x said on twitter uh, yesterday which was um about um rob newman going out to brazil and scouting a lot of south american players which could be linked um to the imminent signing of louisiao uh, at west ham united so i'm, so I'm going to be talking all things rob newman and all things what he's found out over um, on his tour of Brazil scouting players for West Ham United. So join me then um, for that tomorrow. And yeah, thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day. From me, come on your minds, become a member of the channel. Check out our channel sponsors, SRM Carver and Son, by clicking the link in the description down below. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Merry Christmas. And yeah, we are what? 12 days away uh, from the Premier League restarting again. See you soon. Thank you very much. This is the, this is the December Daily for today. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.